Hey guys, this is your host Irfan Nasser and today in this video I want to show you that how you can basically uh, change your payment profile on Google Play Store. So if you have just, uh, you know, moved to another country and you might be thinking that Google Play Store is showing the previous uh, country's, you know, currency. And if you, are if you want to purchase something from Google Play Store or you want to subscribe to a subscription through the Google Play, uh, obviously the currency would be the previous one. So for that one, what you have to do is you have to open any web browser in your computer and go to Google Play. Click on the first link that you see. Now, after that, you have to go to your account, which is on the top right corner of the screen. Click on the payment and subscriptions. Now, this is the page in which it will show you the payment method that you have added. Now, this is the payment method. And what I want you to do is you have to click on the edit payment methods. So here it is the payment method and you can see that I have uh, one of my cards added into it and uh, it's basically a Pakistani card. So what I want you guys to do is you have to go to the settings here. If you when you go to the settings, it, you, it will show you the payment profile. So currently my payment profile is set to Pakistan. And uh, if, for example, I move to another country then i have to uh, you know obviously change this because i don't want the currency to be in pakistani rupees for that one if you try to click on edit you cannot basically edit the current payment profile because it is already locked to your google play and youtube account so uh, what you have to do is you have to create a new profile by clicking over here now this page will show up and you, if you go and continue you can actually select the country and region uh, let's say if I uh, select the United States, for example, click on continue. Now, after doing that, you have to put in the addresses and all the, you know, uh, payment profile later on. If you put in the address, it's going to save this payment profile into it. And then you have to actually add the card number also. So this is what uh, you can do. So currently I'm not doing it. So I will click on cancel. And the second thing, after adding another payment profile, you have to actually deactivate your previous profile. For example, this is the profile that I want. Uh, I'm currently in. If I create a new one, I have to basically close this payment profile for the other payment profile to actually work. Now, uh, you can select uh, one of these by keeping both uh, the payment profiles. But I have tried that if you if you do that, Google Play Store will, uh, you know, uh, show the previous profile again and not the current one so for to close the profile you have to click over close a new window will pop up uh, it's gonna ask you to verify through passkey which i will do and then you have to basically uh, obviously fill some form and then uh, you know make it just go away so this is the uh, payment profile closing uh, form comes up and you can punch in the details like why you want to close it or if you don't, you can actually click on continue. It's going to close the profile. It's no, It normally takes around 30 days to completely close it. But initially, it removes it from your uh, settings. And so that uh, your Google Play Store shows the new, uh, you know, uh, payment profile. So that is uh, what I wanted to share with you guys. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Peace out.